All right, this is Elaine with Crafting Download, where I try to share with you things that are in my brain so I can download them somewhere. I just picked up in the clearance section at Joann's, they're called Liquid Metal. And the bottle is glass. It just says Liquid Metal, Liquid Metal. They were in kind of like a mixed media art section. They're, they were originally, I think, $15. I got them for $5.97. They were a little limited on color. This one just says pearl, and I can tell it's got a lot of gold tint to it. This one, wow, this one's in a plastic bottle. It says metal liquid. This one is silver. This one is in a glass bottle, and this one says pale gold. The it says Kate Rogers liquid metallics add dimension with a touch of magic. It's distributed by American Crafts. Um, I've just got a little bit of water in here. I'm hoping they are water soluble. They were with some other water soluble products. They don't really say whether they are, so that's my guess. Um, this is just a little. A stack of like sample things if I'm trying out a new technique I kind of uh, sit around here thought maybe some gold around the edge of this rose might look really pretty might be something to play with and they also might need to dry so I might need to bring my heat gun they are semi translucent um, I'm going over this black line right here if you can see, I am going over the black line. It's not really hiding it, so they do appear to be somewhat translucent. And I do think that they're going to need to dry, so I'm going to hit that with the heat gun in here in just a minute. So that's over some color. Um, this is done with the Crafter's Companion Sparkle Inks, um, just one of the pearl sheens, and then these are some alcohol markers. So we're going to try painting over this. Again, they're not like fully translucent. Looks like you can, you know, just add some sparkle wherever you want with them. I'm just dipping into the cap right now. Just add a little bit more. Might dry these. They seem like they're sticking okay on paper. I'm going to try filling in this butterfly. I'm going to grab the gold. Just do a quick gold and silver. I am using a fairly, it's a double zero um, paint brush. I'll try to do this a little bit closer. This is just white embossing powder and I ran this through, well ran it. I used the draw function in my Cricut to get the outline and then I just um, put embossing powder over it. I'm trying to do this and talk at the same time. Again, very translucent, but you might get some interesting effects there. I'm going to try the silver and then I will dry this and kind of see how it looks.
Now on this silver, I'm definitely getting a more opaque coverage. This is actually um, satin finish printer paper. Um, so it's not as glossy as this. This is photo paper, so it's got a very, very glossy finish. And on this satin finish printer paper, it's actually being much more opaque. And it is covering the black lines on the silver. And it's still getting a really, really pretty effect in there. I'm going to try it on this one. Whoops, I didn't quite mean to hit that there, trying to hold this up. Yep, again, covering the black lines on this one. So that is fairly opaque for the silver. I'm going to try the um, liquid gold. What did they call this one? Petal. Let's see how the petal does on. Ooh, this is really translucent. Let me give it a good old shake. I don't hear any ball bearings in here, so I'm going to try to shake this as best as I can. It definitely has more of a translucent feel than the silver, and that's probably the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, very translucent. So this would be a good one for adding like some shine and some shimmer um, over anything that you're working on. So this right here I painted with the per, uh, petal and then this one here, this was with the liquid metallic and the silver. All right, I'm gonna dry these and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the did it work. This is on basically just a nice coated paper. This was a satin paper that I run through my printer. You can really see the shine on there and it dried really nice. Um, but it would definitely cover black lines. It's very opaque. This is the photo paper that I use for doing um, photo printing. I have found this in another video. The back of it like melts because it has a plastic coating. And I noticed that happened here with this paint too. Let's see if I can get it nice and close. Do you see how it bubbled? It did kind of create a really cool effect. So as soon as I saw that happening, I was like, I'm just gonna keep going and see what will happen. But it dried really nice on this photo paper. And I have a hard time getting things to stick to it um, because it does have a plastic coating on it. And that is why it bubbles. But that made a really cool effect, gave nice coverage. And then here is, let's get it right here in the camera. This is where I did the gold. Yeah, there you can see the gold. That was that um, pearl. That was this one here that I said was very translucent. So that would be good to go over colors, whereas the sparkle inks, the translucent one, you can see it has more of just a silvery sheen. And this medium has definitely more of a gold tone, but it is still um, opaque and transparent. So hopefully, if you see these in your store, there again is the silver. And then this leaf, I did the gold. Let's see. There it goes. Now you can see the gold right, right there. Oops, wrong way. Right there. So hopefully, if you see these in your store, you see them on sale and you want to give them a try, go for it. You never know what's going to happen when you experiment with your crafts. Till next time!